This is perfectly timed because Novogratz has been the pinata of Bitcoin when it goes down. It's been the genius of Bitcoin when it goes up. And all of a sudden, Larry showed up at the door to say, hey, big, respectable firms can prosecute and do Bitcoin. Link Lawrence Fink of BlackRock to Mike Novogratz. Well, what's happened is people, as you suggest, uh, make fun of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But now the establishment, Larry Fink at, uh, at BlackRock, is now saying they're going to have an ETF, if approved by the government, in Bitcoin. So you're saying, wait a second, if the mighty BlackRock is willing to have an ETF in Bitcoin, maybe Bitcoin's going to be around for a while. Lisa wants to jump in here, but I'm going to cut to the news moment. Is Carlisle announcing this morning a Bitcoin advocacy? No, I don't think so. But uh, there's no doubt that Bitcoin is something that I wish I had bought it at $100 a Bitcoin when, when Mike Novogratz started buying it. It's now at $29,000. So he's made a lot of money. And uh, a lot of people who bought it at the $100 or less are feeling pretty good. Now, it went up as high as 61000 I think. Even down to 31000 or even 29000 now is still a pretty good profit if you bought it at 100 we all wish we would have bought it at 100 uh, and to write it up. It's one thing for BlackRock to come up with an ETF because they believe in the proposition of Bitcoin. It's another because they see a profitability uh, proposition where they can, you know, basically take advantage of the interests other people have. I mean, isn't that more of what this is, that basically Wall Street is saying if there is a market for it and we can viably make one for them and make some money, why not? Well, remember, Wall Street is in business to make money, and this is something they can probably make money of. You have to remember, the United States uh, government has been somewhat skeptical of it. I think Democrats in the Congress, and uh, particularly the people regulating the SEC, are skeptical of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But outside the United States, there's a lot of interest in it. I think FTX really hurt when it went bankrupt, and it hurt the, the uh, crypto industry. But a lot of people around the world want to be able to trade in a currency that their government can't know what they have, and they want to be able to move it around, rightly or wrongly. And so I don't think Bitcoin is going away. I think the Republicans on Capitol Hill have been pretty supportive of it. There's a difference between uh, having a seamless cross-currency payment, basically saying that instead of going to Western Union, I can go and just uh, transfer something in Bitcoin if it has a stable enough price. That's one proposition. But the proposition of Bitcoin as a store of value that could kind of be bid up the way that gold or silver could seems to have been parked with the advent of yield suddenly that you can get for actual money. I mean, isn't that sort of the feeling that you're getting? Well, there's no doubt that when, when, uh, in, when interest rates are as high as they are, you don't need to have gold or other kinds of things to get you some solid uh, return, because when you get 5% on treasuries, but eventually 5% will be coming down at some point. I don't think Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies that are the, the better ones, the better known ones, Bitcoin and so, a number of others, are going to go away. There's enormous interest around the world in being able to have some something you can transfer without the government knowing about it and keep it private. And, uh, you know, you can say well, people shouldn't do that, but that's not going to stop people from doing it. Mr. Novogratz and Mr. Gensler, what did you say about the efforts of our chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission? Well, Gary Gensler, who's the chairman of the SEC, is not a big fan of, of cryptocurrency. I think that's fair to say. But he lost a major case recently in court where he was trying to argue that uh, uh, one of the cryptocurrencies, Ripple, was, uh, was a secure and he lost that case. So I think the SEC has not been able to convince at least the mm -hmm. government yet, or at least the courts, that uh, cryptocurrency is such a dangerous thing. And I remember uh, a lot of people in the government now are thinking that Gary Gensler won't be the chairman of the SEC forever. That's where he wanted to go. I mean, these guys just wait him out, right? I think that's a strategy that's very popular in Washington, waiting out regulators you don't like.